Thank you, Mitch. Thank you to the Chamber. Uh, thank you to all the candidates for coming, and thank you to everybody in this room. Uh, these forums really are just such a great opportunity to hear questions, uh, to hear answers, and make an informed decision as you head into November. And so we all really appreciate you being here. Uh, as Jonathan said, we didn't do formal introductions earlier, so my name is Brian Caforia, uh, running for Congress in the 25th District. Born and raised in Southern California. My parents were both public school teachers. Uh, my dad taught uh, high school English. My mom was a special education and third and fourth grade teacher. And they taught me at a very early age uh, the value of hard work and the benefits of a good public education. So put those two things together and was able to go to UCLA where I met my wonderful wife Lisa, then to Yale Law School, and then to work for a United States federal judge. Then came back to Southern California and practiced law and handled a wide variety of cases, but in all of them, just saw a system that is broken. Saw a system in which far too many people are being taken advantage of. And they're being taken advantage of because the rules have been written the rules have been written by these career politicians, these Washington politicians, who are looking out for their biggest donors and not the people in the community. And so Lisa and I decided, you know what, instead of working on this one case at a time, let's get in there and try to build a better system. Let's fight for an economy that can work for everyone and not just the wealthy few. That means making sure that women have total equality. That means equal pay for equal work no discrimination at the workplace, and allowing women to make their own health care decisions. Because when women thrive, America succeeds. It means strengthening and securing Social Security and Medicare, because these are sacred promises we made to our seniors, and we need to make sure we strengthen these programs so they're there for dec decades to come. And it means passing comprehensive immigration reform so that 12 million people can come out of the shadows as we all move forward in our economy. Thank you all for being here. So, number 19.